Okay, here's my motion. Okay, one of the invariant parameters that are supposedly associated with any motor program is order of events. Okay, so conceptually, one of the features or one of the invariant parameters of generalized motor programs is that the order of events is invariant. Okay, it doesn't change. Whew. That stuff needs to be screened. Okay, so how does that relate to my throw here? What are some order of the events? Well, first off, what kind of events are we talking about? Pardon me? Right, so the behavioral events. So she said the way that I perform the action. Okay, so in this, my example of the throw, what are some of the order of the events that seem to be fixed? Well, I, let, me, let me back up. What I can throw like this, or I can throw like that. So I can speed my motion up, okay, by providing different parameters. But I'm still using the same generalized motor program for the overhand throw. Okay, so between those two movements, the fast throw and the slow, mo slow throw, what are some of the order of the events that are invariant? What am I going to do the same, in the same order every time? All right, so I'm going to step. And while I'm doing that, I'm doing what? Trunk rotation, taking the arm back. Then what? Arm comes forward, you know, elbow breaks, release the ball, follow through. Okay, you never see a violation of that order. Okay? I mean, I guess when you have little kids, you do, because you see, like, them <laughs> release the ball back here, or they might do it here, or, you know, you get some kind of crazed behaviors. But once you have the, the motion down, you're not going to change. Just because I speed it up and throw it faster now or harder, I don't change the order of events. 